In a minute, I'm going to tell you where you get your tickets for next Saturday night. But first, get your copy of the weekly Express Weekly Advertiser. It's free every Friday in locations throughout Portland, Vancouver. And inside, you'll find information on pro wrestling and the Jungle Jim McKee Show on KKEY 1150 on your AM dial. Well, we have uh, another unscheduled match here. We have, uh, we have Mike Winter and C.W. Bergstrom, the, the Bergmeister, going at it. This should be a good, oh no, we've got, we've got the pretty one. We got Doug Masters up here. The pretty boy, get it right. Let me tell you something right now. I know everybody out there in TV land, if they was listening a while ago, we saw John Owens gets up here and make the match for next Saturday, a six-man tag for next that's, Saturday night. That's right. He's going to fall into these towns. That's right. Well, I don't like that one bit, and I'm going to with, with the clan. Boss back there, told me I've been back in the back this whole time on the phone with all my lawyers around the United States, and I guarantee you next Saturday night, the six-man tag will not be on TV. I've been talking to my lawyers. I've been on the phone all around the world. My lawyers may sure that next Saturday night that six man tag will not be on TV. All right, that's very interesting. Now that it won't be on TV, but but who is going to be the other part of the six man? Are you going to be in there? I just might be, but it don't matter. People, you better collect your food stamps and get a ticket to come down to Sports Arena next Saturday night because it might be your last chance to see me, Mike Miller, Crush, or Steve Dahl, because one of them is going bye-bye. Might, might be their last chance to see you, uh -huh. or Rip Oliver, or the Bruise Brothers. Listen up and listen good. We've been telling you time and time again that the Klan is going to rule the Northwest forever and ever, baby. <laughs> uh, that remains to be seen. Next Saturday night, however, it's coming down. Now, you already know, we're going to have a six-man tag match. On one side, we know we're going to have Crush and M Mike Miller and Steve Dahl. On the other side, we don't know. But whoever loses the fall leaves the Northwest. I mean, they, lose, they leave town. Also, next Saturday night, as we just heard moments ago, the grappler gets Don Harris in the middle of the ring. And like he said, that's not wrestling. It's not wrestling. Let me tell you something, Don Cox. I don't know if the grappler is stupid, more stupid than he looks, you know? Every, every week he's been coming out here, like he said a little bit ago, getting his butt beat and, and embarrassed in front of all these idiot Oregonians out there in TV land. All I can say is, grappler, the Klan is going to rule the Northwest forever, and uh, you better watch your back because, uh, you know what I mean, you might not make it till next Saturday night, you know? Uh, it gets very, very dark out there, if you know what I mean, baby. I'll tell you what. If you want to show your support for the grappler, well, I'll tell, I'll finish I'll finish this in just a in just hours for uh, maybe a funeral, huh? <laughs> I, I've got a I've got a I've got a good idea on how to show your support for the grappler, and I'll tell you that in just a moment. The uh, uh, Mike Winter is the winner over C.W. Bergstrom on this special match. We've had a couple of unscheduled matches. This has been the other one. We will be back with more. After this time out. Oh, yeah. Drug addicts get high to alter reality. Therefore, they don't know how real their problems are. calendar for the coming week. Thursday the 3rd in Salem at the Armory, 8 o'clock. Friday the 4th in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds, 8 o'clock. Next Saturday, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Sunday the 6th in Coos Bay at Marshfield High School. Now that's going to be a 7 o'clock start time. 7 o'clock in Coos Bay. Monday the 7th in McMinnville at the Armory starting at 8 o'clock. Friday the 11th back in Eugene at the Fairgrounds, 8 o'clock. Tuesday the 15th in Longview at the fairgrounds, 8 o'clock. And you can book pro wrestling into your area for charity to raise money for charity 
Call Barry Owen, area code 503-484-0840. What's going to happen next Saturday night? Let me tell you something, Grappler. You come up here talking about getting it on next Saturday night. You talking about pulling eyeballs out. Brother, I'm going to tell you right now. I got up in the morning every day of my life kicking and digging. Where I come from, we born and raised and getting it on, son. Next Saturday night, it's me and you. But we got to get through. We got Salem next Thursday night. We got Eugene next Friday night. And brother, there ain't gonna be nothing left of you come Saturday night. But whatever's left, you scrape it up in a little pile and bring it up here, and I'm gonna spread it all over that ring, brother. That's right. And then, Bartman, you're out of professional wrestling. You just see all the people taking all the ice? They carry all kinds of crap back there for him because he's hurting bad. So, Bartman, adios. Coming Thursday night, Doug Masters and myself, we got Pretty Boy Doll. And Miller, hey, tell them what we're going to do to him, baby. Let me tell you something. Everybody's been calling Steve Dahl. They say he's all pretty with the babies and pretty with the women. But let me tell you something. You're looking at the only pretty boy. And guess what? I'm a member of the clan, baby. <laughs> do this sound like we're up here shaking in a boot sun house? No, no, but no. no. But maybe next week you might be one clan member left. No, no, no. Now, Don Owens, ever since I come back out here and started the clan, he's been trying to pull this to get the clan out of here, pull that to get the clan out of here. But Rip Oliver might just be a little smarter than you think, Don Owens. It don't look like my clan's going nowhere. It looks like it's getting bigger and better every Saturday night. Now, after you crying about Don Harris up here, Kicking your butt and leaving you land. Well, next Saturday night, Chopper, you're going to have him right in the middle of the ring, one-on-one -on -one with Don Harris. And I tell you what, I've had a talk with Don, and Don told me that he'll leave you laying out there in a puddle of blood. Now, Steve Dahl, you're out here running your mouth, saying that Rip Oliver's clan has gone too far. Well, let me tell every one of you, Mike Miller, Big crunch. Oliver's plan has just started bringing the carryout service back into business as we showed tonight with Mark Sawyer. So I'm going to go out here tonight, Steve Dow, and I'm going to take that championship belt of yours, and I hope you got it shined up pretty where it looks pretty on Rip Oliver because, like I said earlier, all the hunters in the woods, all their wives in town, wanting to party, and the plan is going to be hot to try tonight, Daddy. <laughs> okay. All right, next Saturday night, let's see how hot they're trotting, huh? Next Saturday night, they have got to pick three of those men out of the clan and meet Crush, Miller, and Dahl in a six-man tag match, and the loser of the fall leaves town. We'll be back with more. In fact, the Northwest title match right after this.